Hey, welcome to Wilder Ask. This is where you, the viewer, send in your questions, and then I get a panel of dudes together, and we answer them. Today, my two dudes are Sean Desmond, just coming off an award of the MMVAs for best video. Congratulations, Thanks man. Thanks so Thanks much. Thank you very here. much. And next to you, we have a guy who makes me wish I did a couple more push-ups before coming on set today. <laughs> this is Jermaine Copeland, Toronto Argonauts wide receiver. Let's get right into it. PDA. <laughs> hey, Wilder, my guy doesn't ever hold my hand or kiss me in public. He says he just doesn't like public displays of affection but it feels more like he's ashamed to be with me what do you guys think about this depending on how long you've been together that's the question I mean if they've been together for a long time then you gotta think hey it starts to get a little boring you know after a while whenever you're on the first couple of dates that's what you're trying to do yeah, I mean I'm not gonna like lick the girl's face and like <laughs> ro like feel her up and down in public but you're I'm not cool. supposed to do that I no oh, okay I, but I, write that I think hugging and kissing and I think that's cool I'm, I'm down with that I'm that type of dude absolutely yeah. I'm not a huge tonguer out in public either I, uh, just exactly. to be truthful I'm yeah. not gonna be out there slopping the, you yeah. down the classic kissing. the classic kiss mm -hmm. you know yeah I think that, something I think soft that's and mellow ab absolutely well, my personal favorite is the space invader you guys know what that is I have no idea yeah, the hand in the back pocket right. while you're walking Walking. Space yeah. Invader. That's what that's called? That's, yeah. I've seen a lot of people do that. That's awesome. A bit of a trendsetter. Hey, Wilder, my guy has really let himself go since the first time we met, so I seriously need your help. How do I let him know without completely offending him? Easiest way would probably be your jeans are looking kind of tight. And then all of a sudden they'll start thinking, like, man, I think I'm getting kind of fat. Not like, hey, you're fat. <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're, you're a fat lard and you need to lose weight. My girl's a little different. She's just flat out told me one time in my off season, hey, you look a little chunky around the edges. And I was like, that hurt real bad. Yeah. But I said, I will not let that happen again because I don't want that coming out of her mouth. Yeah. Yeah. For real. If his shirt's yes. getting tighter, all you got to do is call it out. Um, guys understand, if my shirt's tight and I'm not working out, that means There's I'm a fat. problem. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I like that. Hey, Wilder, I've been with my guy for five years now, and I'm ready to take the next step, but he hasn't popped the question yet. I know he loves me, but I think he's really scared of making that next step. Is it cool for a girl to pop the question? What's your perspective on that? That's a big mistake. No. The guy, right? <laughs> Am I right? It's a big mistake. The guy wants to feel like he's, you know, that's that's a guy's thing to do, and like you can't take that away. It, like I would be seriously pissed if you took that if, if if a girl took that away from me. If my girl would have popped a question to me, we wouldn't be married right See? now. See, just to tell you the truth, that Just is not the way to go. No. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with you guys. I think throw tradition out the window. It's cool for the girl to pop the question. The most important thing to remember, though, is the other person has to be ready. You can't force a proposal on anybody, girl or guy. So I think it's cool to ask the question, but just make sure that he's ready. Absolutely. You don't want to. Be, I, I don't want to be forced into anything because it just that it doesn't work out. It, like like you said, doing so, you know being forced into something is that you're just asking for trouble. You know. So I mean, my advice is let. Just, I know it's hard, it's five years, it's a long time. Uh, but he'll be ready at some point. And he, when he's ready, he's gonna do it. So I'd like to thank my guest, Sean Desmond. Thanks for coming, man. He's got a new album called Fresh that's out right now. And of course, Jermaine Copeland. Check him out, argonauts.ca. And they also got a really cool uh, Facebook page. Uh, until next time, send in your questions to my blog at uh, cosmotv.ca slash wilder or tweet me at wilderware. Thanks, guys.